Hello, this is Michael McCarthy. In this video, we're going to take a look at using Ornatrix and a couple of tips with hair from mesh strips and UVs, propagating those onto your hair, as well as using selection sets with uh, Ornatrix edit guides. So we have this uh, beautiful model from Turbo Squid. This model has been modeled with uh, kind of planes for hair, which you can see, and that's great. In a previous video, we actually show how to set up hair from mesh strips with this, uh, so check that out if you want to take a look at that. Um, in this setup, you can see that we already have the hair uh, that has been generated from those mesh strips. It's pretty easy to do. But what I want to look at is actually the material. So when I go into my material here, I'm going to show in viewport, and maybe I'll just crank up the self-illumination a little bit so that we can see that the UVs on these planes, uh, of course, is from uh, kind of zero to one here. And this, from a lot of hair generation, is going to be what you want because you'd want kind of a root to tip setup if you're going to apply a gradient or another map to it, um, that would be really good. And when you do generate your hair from mesh strips, you can see that that gets propagated. And in the hair from mesh strips object, um, that's because under texturing we have inherent UVs from mesh strips, which is really great. Now, the nice part about this is in a lot of cases when you go in it can be hard to create a hairstyle or texture where you might get a streak that's all the way across because of course for each uh, set of hair you're going to be mapping from uh, the root to the tip and not necessarily across the whole hairstyle. Now when you're using hair from mesh strips you can go into that object and maybe apply a new UV map. So I have a simple UV map that's just from the top to bottom here and you can see all of the mesh gets this um, map and then you have a more uniform setup. So if I wanted to go in and change the material, I can go into the material and maybe I could add a streak along the middle, which traditionally would be pretty hard to do. And I know that we've had a few users request being able to do something like this fairly easily. And I can position that pretty much wherever it is that I want on that model. So that's great. I'll just move it down a little bit more and you can kind of see how that works there. So you can do this kind of streak across a hair, which might be difficult. And because we are generating our hair from mesh strips here, when we go in, you can see that that propagates to the hair that gets generated, which is really great. I'll just go back into that material and uh, get rid of that streak because we probably don't need it. I'm gonna turn on some uh, strand length to give us some variation in our hair. So we have a little bit of randomization in length and maybe a little bit of frizz for our hair so it doesn't look like it's uh, too uniform all the way around. And actually what I'm going to do is a little trick to convert this hair because hair from mesh strips is an actual hair object into guides. And that's actually pretty easy to do with the flexible modifier workflow of Ornatrix. I'm going to use the mesh from strands modifier. And in that modifier, I'm going to make sure that export guide mesh data is chosen. I'll go back down actually to the root of hair from mesh strips, and I'm only going to have maybe 30% of those hairs visible. And that way, that's what will kind of get generated from hair from mesh strips. And the reason we're going to use that export guide mesh data is because it's going to allow us to convert that to guides. So if I go in and say guides from guide mesh, then what I'm going to get is actual or Natrix guides. So now I can use those guides and I can edit them, brush them, and do all sorts of other things to them. And that's what I'm going to do. I'll use Ornatrix edit guides. And I can go in and uh, brush or make a selection. And what I want to do is make a little selection of this hair. So let's just say I wanted to uh, make sure that this hair on the uh, left side of the character I could always easily select. I can call this front left and press enter. So in the latest version of Ornatrix um, you could do selection sets like this just like you would in maybe edit poly uh, or some other um, sub object selection method inside Mac. So this will call front right and now we can kind of toggle between those very easily whenever we're in this edit guide. So trying to just provide a, a little seamless workflow for you to work with if you're doing uh, those selections. Of course, you'd want to do this if uh, you were maybe brushing and you wanted to go down, you could choose effect selected only. And then you can go down and uh, you know brush with just these hairs like so.
Okay, I hope those tips will help you if you want to, you know, create streaks in your hair, when you're using hair for mesh strips, if you want to convert those to guides, uh, or if you want to just uh, simply use the sub-object selection, uh, selection sets for hair. Thank you very much.